in today's video, I am going to be breaking down the center position in basketball, the rules, and a lot of tips for all of you centers out there looking to become the best ever. Let's get down and let's check out these tips. Okay, so in this first clip, we are going to be checking out Joel Embiid. He is one of the better centers in the NBA, and in this clip, we are going to be really breaking down what makes it so special. First off, when you are taking that ball to the rim, you need to smash that thing down. You need to go in strong. You do not want that defender to block your shot. If you go up in the as, in, as a center against another center, you're going to have another big man who is going to be looking to block you. If you can dunk, you need to make sure that that ball goes into that rim. And how you're going to do that is with as much force as possible. If that defender wants to risk getting his hand between that ball and the rim, you need to make sure that that ball either goes around or through his hand to get in. This is not a position where you need you can be soft. You need to be extremely, extremely aggressive in when you are taking that ball to the rim. Now, if this player is stronger than you, what you can do is a quick spin move around him, but making sure you go up with two hands on the ball and two feet off the ground so that you can be stable and strong. And in this clip, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We have Marcus Gasol attacking the rim. He went up what looks to be soft to some players, but we have to remember this player, Marcus Aldridge, is a much stronger, more athletic player than Marcus Saul. So what does Marcus Saul do? He is able to attack the rim. He's able to get both hands on that ball going up for a floater, keeping his elbows out, two hands on that ball, going up for that floater, arcing it high up over top of that player. And the reason why this one is good is because he went up like a layup for one, but he was able to go up with two hands on that ball. If LaMarcus Aldridge was to smack down with two hands on that ball, Mar Marcus Saul would have been totally fine. Marcus Saul is a very strong player, but not very athletic. Now, even though Pascal Siakam is not a center, in this game he was acting as a center. Now, here he went up strong, but this is what I mean by a slight spin move. So, in this Block. He did get blocked here from a help side defender, which is going to be another point I'm going to make on this clip. But when he's driving towards the rim, he does that quick shoulder fake, hops into it. We see how he hops into that shoulder fake. That gets rid of that defender. Now, of course, we do have Jonas on the court, but I still wanted to show you a very strong move to take to the basket. And now from here, he's able to spin off of that fake spin, and he's able to go up with two hands, one hand at the end but as a center you also need to be a great help side defender and that is what we see here so when a player on the weak side or I mean on the strong side you're on the weak side as a center in this case but when you see him going up for a shot you need to really be able to time that and understand hey he is going up for a shot now this player should have been coming down to shield uh, Jonas but at the same time on the help side you need to be able to time your shot block so that you can get the shot blocked like this. Even though that was a very good move, that was a very, very good shot block as well. You have to be always looking on your help side to be able to get that blocked shot. Again, right here, we always want to be watching our help side. If the ball's on the other side, you want to be able to help out and block that shot. As a center, remember I was mentioning earlier that you want to go up strong over top of those defenders who are going to help out and try to block your shot. At the same time, you need to be fearless and get that shot blocked as well. This is probably the most aggressive position in basketball. Now, that's just an amazing block. I absolutely love it. Now, in a screen and roll action, of course, he was not used for the screen and roll, but his player who could have used him as a screen is now driving towards the basket. You as the center need to understand that, hey, if my player doesn't use me as a screen, he goes the opposite direction. If my man starts to try and contest that drive, I need to get my butt, 
to the basket. I need to cut to the basket. I'm going to be open for either a layup or a massive nasty dunk. And that's what happened here. Because that player was able to read the defense and he was able to react accordingly, which is, hey, my man has left me. I'm not going to be popping out for a three. I need to get to the basket. And that is what you need to be able to see opportunities as a center. You cannot allow your man to go and help out and double team a guard and pop out to the three point line. Unless you're a very high percentage three point shooter, I would suggest you rolling towards the basket or cutting towards the basket hard, not soft, not jogging, sprinting so that you can make dunks like that. You always have to be also ready as a center. Now in this clip we have a shot that was off to the right but because he was ready and he was able to see and track that ball where it's going and it's going to be going right of that rim, he got himself into position to tap that ball in. With only a second left, he was able to get that basket. Also, you have to remember that basketball has changed. It's not like how it was 15 years ago when I was playing. It's a lot different now. Centers are allowed to shoot the three-point shot. If you're a center and unable to shoot past the free throw line, you really need to work on that drastically. This is a position now that is going to be stretching the defense and shooting threes. So make sure that you are practicing your shot every single day so that you can try and get above 50% from three in the game. That is going to be a game changer if a center can get in to the NBA shooting over 50%, which there's like no players at all shooting over 50%, but if you could, you could be an absolutely amazing player. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.